And when you talk currency, that's literally in the trillions per day, per wow. day. So I don't think we can use market cap when we're talking about XRP. I think that's the wrong way to look at it. We need to look at it in terms of currency, number one. Right. Number two, I think that if you look at the Athi Michnik calculator, which is the calculator that Ripple themselves came up with, and um, one of those people is on the is over at BlackRock and in digital assets over at BlackRock. Another one, I think, the other one is on the board of Ripple, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so they're they're very involved in the industry still, but they came up with a calculator which looks at how much money flows every day and uh, from how much time in between each flow and that calculates how much XRP could be worth. Right. Now, you know, Jimmy Valley did a whole study on uh, the values. And so there's, we've had, you know, we have a low valuation, we have a very high valuation, we have everything in between. So, you know, it's not for me to say what the ultimate value can be, but I do think it is a matter of how much is flowing on the rails. And the fact that we got news that Ripple was going to offer a stable coin meant that that number just got exponentially larger because stable coins are one of the most important things to move money. Uh, and if you think about how you buy crypto now and how you know you take it from your bank account usually into a stable coin and then into a crypto or moving it from one place to another, possibly with a stable coin. It's something we use them all the time, right? So there's going to be a lot more flows because of that. Now, the other thing I want to say is that um, people have written papers on the fact, uh, at least two people that I know of, have written papers on the fact that they believe that XRP was engineered to be $10,000 or more based on how many decimal points it has, how many, uh, the 100 billion that are in existence, the drops, the whole thing. Right. Um, so that's their estimate by their research. And that's a very interesting number. Mm -hmm. um, I think that that is definitely a possibility. That's definitely within the realm of what would make sense. Right. Um, you know, how much money could flow on the XRP ledger. And when Rosie Rio says the train has left the station, yeah. I think that means that the financial system is all planned. Everything has to be planned. There's nothing that is taken for granted. There's nothing that happens by chance. When you're talking about money and changing the monetary system, every single thing has to be coordinated, planned. You have dates for things. You have go live schedules. You have all these things with the software and uh, with money flows, and they know exactly when this is going to happen. And I think that it's not a coincidence that the U.S. is the last to bring crypto laws into existence. That's because we have the world's reserve currency, and therefore the other countries are all banding together under the, the BRICS nations, and they are, you know, getting a currency uh, reset into something of value again and out of fiat and that will force the largest the world's reserve currency to have to do the same thing so i think it's all planned and it's all scheduled and we're getting close to the point where it's going to become very obvious in in my opinion